So let's have a look at year one in this assets life. Let's see what happens. So remember, $3,000 in accounting depreciation expense, and we've got a $7,000 tax deduction for the tax depreciation. We'll pop that into our current tax liability calc, and let's just assume that the profit for the year is $100,000. To work out our current tax liability, following the, pro the approach that you take in the CSG, we add back the accounting depreciation expense because it's not deductible. But remember, it's an expense included within that $100,000 profit figure. And then we subtract the $7,000 tax depreciation deduction. So our taxable income is $96,000 giving rise to a current tax liability of $28,800. So to put that in a journal entry to recognise the current tax liability for the year ended 30 June X1, we debit our income tax expense and credit the current tax liability for $28,800. So if there was no temporary difference, the current tax liability would have just been $30,000. So if we didn't have that depreciation difference between tax and accounting, we just have profit of $100,000 at a tax rate of 30%, we'd have a current tax liability of $30,000. But because we've got this temporary difference relating to our machine, we've got a current tax liability of $28,800. So we're getting a $1,200 benefit now. So let's take a look at how we treat that benefit. So why are we only paying or having to pay $28,800? It's because of that temporary difference, that differing time frame over which we're depreciating for tax and accounting purposes. So looking at page 4-11 in your CSG, we've got the formula for working out whether a temporary difference in relation to an asset gives rise to a taxable temporary difference or a deductible temporary difference. And remember, we decided that because we were getting the benefits up front, there was a taxable temporary difference. So remember, a taxable temporary difference gives rise to a deferred tax liability, whereas a deductible temporary difference gives rise to a deferred tax asset. So the carrying amount of our asset is $18,000, and that's because the machine has a cost of $21,000, and by the end of year one, there's accumulated depreciation of $3,000. So its carrying amount in our accounting records is $18,000. We need to work out what the tax base is. So the tax base is the, uh, the future deductible amounts in relation to this asset. And that's the formula that you see in your CSG on page 4-9. So remember we talk in the learning materials about a notional tax balance sheet. So if we were to prepare a tax balance sheet, what would its va the value of this machine be in um, that tax balance sheet? So remember that the tax written down value is $14,000, a cost of $21,000, and we've claimed tax depreciation deductions of $7,000. So its tax written down value is $14,000. They represent the future deductible amounts for that asset because remember we've got two more years of tax depreciation to claim. So our tax base is 14,000. Our carrying amount that we looked at on the previous slide is 18,000. The carrying amount is greater than the tax base. We've got a $4,000 taxable temporary difference. So let's look at the deferred tax liability at the end of year one. There's our taxable temporary difference. We multiply it by the tax rate. We need to recognise a deferred tax liability of $1,200. But remember, when we do our tax effect accounting, we're only putting through a journal entry for the current year movement. So the opening balance in the DTL in relation to this asset was zero. 
because remember we only bought the asset at the beginning of the year so there was no temporary difference at the very beginning of the year. We've got a DTL at year end of $1,200 therefore the movement for the year is $1,200 credit. The liability has gone from zero up to $1,200 so we need to credit the DTL for $1,200 and debit our income tax expense. And so that's the deferred tax movement for year one. Okay, let's now jump ahead to year three. And remember my timeline um, and my bell curve that showed that the temporary difference was increasing up to the end of year three. Because remember at the end of year three, the asset would be fully depreciated for tax purposes, but it's still got four more years left for accounting purposes. So let's see what happens. Again, let's look at our current tax liability calc first, because that tends to be the first thing we do. Again, let's assume we've got a $140,000 profit. I add back my accounting depreciation of 3,000, because that expense is included within that 140,000 figure. And then I take off my depreciation deduction of 7,000, so my taxable income would be 136,000. Using the tax rate, I've got a current tax liability of $40,800. And there's my journal entry, debit income tax expense, credit current tax liability, 40,800. And remember, it's important to show a narration. So that's the current tax liability for year three. Let's look at the deferred tax liability at that time. Our, we've got our taxable temporary difference of $12,000. So the carrying amount is $12,000 because we've got a cost for accounting purposes and tax purposes. The cost was $21,000 and we've claimed $9,000 in accounting depreciation expense. So its carrying value um, for accounting purposes is $12,000. But remember, the tax base is zero because at the end of the third year, we've claimed all $21,000 in tax depreciation deductions because remember it was $7,000 per annum. So we've got a deferred tax liability of $3,600. But it's important to remember we don't record a journal entry for $3,600 because that's our balance at the very end of year three. That's the balance that should be sitting in our deferred tax liability account. But remember, balances carry forward. So we would have had an opening balance of $2,400 from the end of year two. Our deferred tax liability at the end of year three is $3,600. So therefore, the movement for the year is $1,200. And that's what we put through in our journal entry. Debit income tax expense, credit deferred tax liability, $1,200. And that's our deferred tax movement for year three.